now. You're eight. Make me hot. Why can't you just like not? Why are you so ridiculous right now? What is wrong with you? I'm not gonna see you. Can you turn around? Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, we're not barking. Give me half half. Yeah, that's a good. Hello guys and welcome back to Bo's Nails. Um, I got a new tripod and I haven't really figured out how to use it yet. It has like a level on it. It's very fancy, so bear with me, but I think I'm in the frame. I digress. Today's video is the furry friend tag. And I have brought along <laughs> my furry friend who really is not having it. I may have made him get up from a very comfortable spot to come be in the video. So we'll try and make this quick. So, alright. What is your pet's name? This is Rebel. Say hi. We picked his name out of a hat. There were some very strange animal names in that hat and I'm glad that we picked Rebel because it's just much better. What kind of breed is your pet? He, you look a lot bigger if you have that close to the camera. He is a rat terrier. Um, he has papers, so he's pretty much full-blooded as far as we know. Some people say he looks more Jack Russell, but he is supposed to be a rat terrier. Like his mommy and daddy. You know your mommy and daddy? I don't think you know his mommy and daddy. Did you get your pet? He was my Valentine's Day present for my boyfriend. I got him on a snowy day. It's February 14th, so it was actually close to now. So we drove out in the snow after we saw him listed in the paper. And I wanted a Maltese and Kenny wanted a more manly dog. So we got this guy. It's supposed to be a squirrel chaser. Old is your pet. Rebel is eight years old. He still acts like a puppy most of the time. He does get a little bit tired after a day of not doing anything. Quirky things about your pet's personality. Well, first of all, he he constantly licks. He licks everything. He licks the bed, he licks the cabinet, he licks me, he licks everything. It's like, like a nervous habit. I don't really know why he does it. <laughs> he does. He licks everything. That's one quirky habit. He also likes to dig. Red terriers are tunnelers, apparently. I read that somewhere. And um, he'll like dig in the sheets or dig on the ground or just dig, you know, wherever he can dig his little heart out. Um, he gets real nervous when we leave. He like shakes and gets all anxious and he has separation anxiety pretty badly. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Um... It's good to have him in my life. When I come home, he's happy to see me. I have some anxiety issues and he can usually calm me down. Just petting him is therapeutic. I don't pet him like this. <laughs> but, um, and he's always happy to see me. He's unconditionally loving. Some of your favorite times with your pet. Just, he amuses me a lot. <laughs> he sings with you. He um, plays, plays, he's got a few toys, but he mostly chews them up, so he can't have that many. Um, when he gets real excited, he runs around the house with his ears up. It's just fun to play with him. He's shedding pretty bad right now. That's not the best, but uh, we vacuum and try to keep it clean. Don't we, buddy? He doesn't vacuum. He runs from the vacuum. He's scared of it. Question or what are some of the nicknames? that you have for your pet. 
Hmm. We call him all kinds of things. Camacho, Bubba, Muffin, Baby Muffin, uh, what else do I call you? I call him Bean sometimes. I'll just be like, hey Bean. I don't know, he's not a bean, but sometimes he gets called Bean. Just lots of weird names that don't sound anything like Rebel. I also have a cat named Mr. Creepy, but he is asleep right now, and he would not let me hold him this long because he's kind of mean. So, that is the furry friend tag. He weighs about 18 pounds, so he's not light. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to see more of me and sometimes Rebel. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.